Hello friends, my name is AJ. Before I get started on the topic of this video, I did want to share a very quick update. So if you have come from some of my previous videos such as AP Computer Science or maybe some of the modding tutorials I have done somewhat recently, you may have noticed in this video that I have made a few changes to hopefully increase the quality of the videos. So definitely let me know what you think in the comments, but I have made a few changes. So now my videos hopefully will be much better quality. All right, so the main topic of today's video is going to be the AP exam scores. So if you if you have not already uh, figured this out, the AP scores for the 2020 exams, AP exams have been released for certain states, and they will be released all of which all of them will be released by Friday, July 17th. So I'm going to be putting putting up on the screen a quick graphic. If you live in the states of Alaska, California, Hawaii, Idaho, Michigan, Minnesota, Montana, New York, North Dakota, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania, South Dakota, Washington, or Wisconsin, you have already access. You already have access to your scores. They were released today. And as you can see, you can check at the state that you may live in, or if you're living international, uh, you can quickly see when your scores will be available on the AP site. So now that I kind of talked about the scores being released, I do wanted to I did want to mention that a lot of people earlier today in the morning as the actual exam scores were released, they did encounter problems with the actual website in the sense that the AP website uh, that sh that where the scores are actually located, the AP uh, AP Central or AP students, that particular website was having a lot of loading problems in the morning due to the very high traffic. That may also be expected to occur tomorrow and Friday at the time that these exam scores are going to be released. And if I didn't mention earlier, the exam scores are going to be released and were released at 8 a.m. Eastern time or 5, p or 5 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. So if you are living depending on where you live in your time zone, it's going to be equivalent to 8 a.m. Eastern time or 5 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Now, the actual, the website, because a lot of people went onto the website right in the beginning as, as the scores were released at that exact time, there was a high level of traffic and a lot of people weren't able to receive their scores until much later, like a half an hour to an entire hour after they were officially released. So definitely this could be a concern for future releases, such as the scores released on Thursday as well as on Friday. So definitely if you're encountering this problem and you get an error message, just wait a little bit of time, perhaps 30 minutes to an hour, and then eventually the scores will show up. I did want to mention this because I have been seeing this pretty much all throughout the internet, being that uh, a lot of people were very excited to see their scores exactly when they came out, but a lot of them weren't able to do that. And that is simply because of the servers overloading on College Board's side. Now, the other thing that I did want to mention and talk about this video was actually going to be some of the analysis of the scores that were released because I, I talked about the scores actually being released, but a few days earlier, Trevor Packer, the Senior Vice President of Instruction and AP at the College Board released the scoring distributions for the actual exams. They're basically kind of the percentage of, of the scores that students actually got in the 2020 uh, administration. So out of which I want to go through some of the main highlights about that and kind of some of some of the thoughts and comparing last year and this year in terms of some of the actual scores and how people did on the exam. The first one that I want to talk about is kind of some of the some of the decreases in scores in terms of the five rate. And what I mean five rate is basically the percentage of students that got a five on their exam. So in terms of some of the classes that definitely um, have been highlighted as some of the lowest or the more significant drops in terms of five rate is going to start off with AP Computer Science Principles. AP Computer Science Principles dropped by 2.8% in terms of the percentage of students who got a five between 2019 and 2020. In addition, another major drop was going to be AP Art and Design Drawing, which decreased by 5.3% in terms of the amount of students who got a five. And then also 2D art and design. That one had the one of the biggest drops with an 8.9% drop in five rate. And a lot of and a lot of this is going to be due to kind of changes of the exam as well. For example, computer science principles was only 
a portfolio. There was no multiple choice, uh, multiple choice section on that particular exam, which usually makes up almost 60% of the overall score. So because of the uh, circumstances involving the 2020 exam, a lot of the exam structures changed and therefore those scores also fluctuated along with that. Now, in terms of a pretty good success is actually going to be AP Physics C Mechanics, as well as the other AP Physics C in terms of um, electronegativity and magnetism or just um, the magnetism one. That one actually increased by almost 5%. So the Physics C Mechanics increased by 5%, meaning that the number of students who scored a 5 on that exam increased by 5% from 2019 to this year. So that is a major improvement for that particular exam. And then the exam kind of information that I teach on this channel is going to be related to AP Computer Science A. I've made a lot of content on AP Computer Science A and a lot of you who may be watching this video would have already watched some of those as well. And in terms of the five rate for AP Computer Science A, the five, the, the percentage of students who got a five on AP Computer Science from 2019 to 2020 dropped by 1.8% only. Not a significant drop, but it is a little bit of a drop. And that's understandable because the exam was only based on the FRQ section and not the overall multiple choice questions, which a lot of people have practiced for. But another thing that was new was that there was a new type of question on the multiple choice, on the free response question, rather, the infamous part C, for those who have been watching some of my videos, that one was kind of a short answer question, not a code related question. So people who are not prepared for that may have gotten a little bit uh, confused. And that could be why we have a little bit of a drop of the five rates, more people getting fours. Now, in terms of the overall pass rates, one of the uh, best successes is going to be AP Human Geography. So in 2019, more people actually failed the exam than passed. 49.1% uh, of students in 2019 passed, which meant that almost 50.9% failed, so great, uh, more than half, even though it was a small amount, more than half of the students failed the AP Human Geography exam. This year, the amount of people that passed increased from 49% to 58%, a 9% increase in terms of the students who passed AP Human Geography, which is great. Still, about 30% of people got a one on the Human Geography exam compared to last year's 33.4-ish, which is one third of students. And that is an exam that a lot of people have trouble with in general. So it is good to see that there is a massive increase in the number of people passing. In addition, some of the increases in terms of overall pass rates, significance one would be AP, Lit or AP English Literature and AP Language. So both of the AP English classes, as well as AP Psychology and AP Physics 1 and 2. They also increased by quite a good amount in terms of the amount of people who passed the exam from last year to this year. And then some of the major decreases in terms of overall pass rate would be AP Research, which is a 3.8% decrease, and AP Computer Science Principles, which is a 2% decrease. So out of which, the main reasons that I kind of wanted to go over some of these distribution analysis, or kind of the, um, the score distribution, I wanted to analyze these was because a lot of people were saying that you know they were not sure how students would kind of do compared to last year because of all the changes with the exam in 2020 a lot of people believed that people would do significantly worse on the 2020 exam which is actually luckily for us and for all of the students not true in fact people did generally the same, if not better, on most of the exams. The exams which I showed a decrease in terms of five rate, that is only for five rate. In terms of pass rate, it still remained the same to increased. There was a significant number of exams where the pass rate actually increased instead of decreased. So that is definitely a good sign for students. And in case we have to, for example, do this type of this type of AP exam format in 2021 as well. Uh, obviously, we're not looking that far into the future due to kind of all of the different um, updates in terms of the virus. However, if, if current situations continue all the way until March, then it doesn't necessarily mean that the exams are more, uh, or that people do worse on the exams compared to the exams with the multiple choice section. All right, everyone, that concludes kind of the video of which I wanted to talk about the AP exams and the release of the scores. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe for more content. And as always, thanks for watching.